Hello. Welcome to an educational moment. I'm Dr. Pat Dingle, your host. Welcome. I will be sharing with you some information on opportunities for teachers and of course I would also like to give you a small overview of the Fair Housing Poster Contest sponsored by the Maryland Association of Realtors. We're going to go to a slide now which is the cover of this year's contest winners. Every year, the Maryland Association of Realtors gives a wonderful opportunity for all students in the state of Maryland. Basically, they have a fair housing poster contest that stresses fair housing and diversity. Each child, whether the child is in the public schools or private schools, has an opportunity to enter this contest if he or she is in kindergarten through eighth grade. If we return to the slide, you will see a series of 12 posters. All 12 of these posters on the first slide are winners in the 2010 Fair Housing Poster Contest. The theme for 2010 is Fair Housing Equals Opportunity for All in 2010. Around the uh, program cover, which was held at the State House, the Maryland State House, and Governor Martin O'Malley was present to give each child his or her certificate and award. So this is what you are seeing right now are all of the um, posters, or at least a good selection of the posters of the students who won. I would like to say congratulations to all the winners, but especially to one very special student, Ms. Noray Woodard, who is one of my students from Kenmore Middle School. Each child that won in the uh, Fair Housing Poster Contest won a $50 money order, and a correction, a $50 visa card. They also won a certificate, and the poster that they designed was framed, or rather made permanent. They have a very beautiful um, a sample of their poster which is somewhat mounted. In addition to this, each child receives copies of the calendar where his or her poster is actually published. So this calendar is published and it is not only shown in the state of Maryland, but I was informed by the uh, Prince George's County Association of Realtors that this poster actually travels all over the United States. So again, congratulations to all the winners and a special thank you to the Maryland State Association of Realtors. I think this is a, is a very valuable opportunity for all of our children. In addition to all of these prizes for the winners, the association also sponsors a wonderful party for the participants. Each child that enters this contest gets a certificate and is invited to a party. So again, I am so thankful that the uh, Maryland, Maryland Association of Realtors and also the Prince George's County Association of Realtors do such a wonderful job for our children, especially in Prince George's County. I would like to now go to opportunities for teachers. There are many opportunities available to enhance the education and lives of our children in Prince George's County, as well as opportunities to improve the educational um, 
abilities of our teachers in order to make them master teachers and also to enhance the learning of all children in our county. So tonight I want to share with you some of these opportunities. If we go to the second slide, you will see a picture of the National Endowment for Humanities website for Picturing America. Picturing America consists of 20 large size posters. And when I say 20, actually there are 40 of them, but they are mounted back to back. So they end up being about, um, I think they end up being uh, 20 separate posters, but of course each side is a different poster. And the goal of the Picturing America initiative is to get teachers in various content areas to use the arts to enhance the learning of the students. It's a wonderful opportunity. It costs the school nothing. All the school has to do is have a willing uh, individual submit an application with the permission of the principal to obtain this valuable resource. It is invaluable. The posters are huge. And there's no way that, uh, particularly in the economic situation which we face today, there's no way we could afford these posters. So it's a wonderful opportunity. Um, the National Endowment for Humanities gives these out on a large scale, something like 4,000 nationwide. So I hope that you will take advantage of this opportunity to uh, receive a Picture in America award. Let's go to the next slide. The next opportunity which I would like to share is the companion award called We the People Bookshelf. The We the Pe People Bookshelf, and this is the website that you look at right now, is a companion award to the Picturing America award. It's wonderful. Essentially, there are special sets of books that are given out to schools which have the Picturing America Award in place at the school. 